The skies are getting dark. We're launching uh, the latest on our precision radar and our Lewis Auto camera. Some dark skies, thunderstorms on their way. Rochester will see some pretty intense activity by the end of the hour right now. That's still about 40 minutes from the Med City, but you see a lot of lightning already outside as uh, looking southward with our Lewis Auto camera uh, from Northwest Rochester. Here's that the latest in the severe thunderstorm complex now rumbling into the area. Severe thunderstorm warning Dodge County, most of the county anyway, in this warning until uh, 645 this morning. Already an existing warning for just a few more minutes for areas around Owatonna and far southern parts of, of Rice County. Uh, that's an area that has seen some uh, one inch hail and uh, some strong wind gusts at least uh, detected on radar. And again, here's that uh, Dodge County severe thunderstorm warning uh, until 645 this morning. And beyond that would be Rochester. That could be uh, happening uh, before 7 o'clock. Here's the latest on that line of storms really picking up its steam as they get a little stronger. Uh, right now, moving into Rochester area just before uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, plain view by 712 this morning. Kasten uh, in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, that's going to be in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. You see why? There's a lot of intense activity for a while there. There was a weakening trend. Now it's building up again, intensifying as it moves in, into this very unstable environment. A lot of lightning and darker darkening skies looking to the west live from a CC Heights right now. 73 Dew point just shy of 70 south winds light seven miles uh, nine miles per hour rather, but they will pick up. Expect that when the line of storms comes in at the very least 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts Some of the severe segments of that storm may generate gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Uh, severe thunderstorm criteria is certainly uh, being met right now. 73 in Rochester, 71 in uh, Northwood and 70 in Winona. Watch the line of activity there. The warnings in a place right now. Line of storms goes all the way down uh, practically into, in, now into North Iowa, west of Mason City. But all this is migrating eastward pretty quickly. This will impact the area through again about nine o'clock. Then it looks to weaken uh, and move into Wisconsin. Uh, the focus of these storms, the, the, the mechanism that's been triggering this activity, the, producing the lift in the atmosphere for this, is that cold front, an area of low pressure for the west. Is that migrating? eastward, then we start seeing redevelopment for the afternoon uh, after this morning environment uh, begins to wane. Then we see redevelopment after about two o'clock or so until about six. That'll be the, the greatest threat of severe weather in our area. It'll be out of us, uh, our, our area by evening. Uh, enhanced risk of severe weather, large hail damaging wind gusts, even tornadoes. That is a possibility of supercell structures could develop along that uh, front as it works its way into this very unstable atmosphere further southward uh, beyond this morning's activity. So all modes are possible of severe weather threat. Tornadoes, large hail, damaging winds, uh, all of that, uh, that with that redeveloping activity again later today uh, with that uh, from the Storm Prediction Center's outlook. But right now watching the storms this morning, migrating eastward strong for a time, then weakening. We see very scattered activity the midday hour maybe even some sun helping us reach the low 80s and then redevelopment south and eastward. Keep an eye on that on future track uh, around 3, 4 o'clock. We start seeing strong storms develop and then push southward. So southeast part of the area, primarily the area of concern for that afternoon redevelopment and then beyond that very isolated activity uh, for the evening skies uh, clearing off and the humidity by late tonight will begin to drop off behind that cold front. But that front and the, for the time being uh, the focus of those storms of a warm muggy day. Uh, pleasant weekend though lies ahead behind this front. Next week does offer at least a little more rain if we don't get enough out out of this today, we'll have chances Monday through Wednesday of next week. 71 for the morning commute. Occasional sun around those storms uh, for the next uh, three or four hours uh, until things uh, begin to settle down. 73 right now officially in Rochester. Des Moines 71 behind that line of storms a little cooler. See some 60s in Minneapolis and Marshall at this hour. So darkening skies, showers and storms through about 9 or 10 o'clock. Then isolated activity, more widespread storm activity after about 3 or 4. 82 the expected high temperatures. So running a few degrees above the seasonal average. 77 would be typical for this 28th day of the month. And then 60s, eventually 50s later tonight. Future track watching that line of storms pushing eastward into the area. Storms this morning. We get a lull in the midday hours and then redevelopment along that cold front. That'll be uh, anywhere from 2 to 6 o'clock in our viewing area, south and east in the area. Then that moves southward. Northwest winds get gusty. We'll see the gust to 25 miles per hour late this afternoon and the evening. Then high pressure comes in. And tonight and tomorrow we get a nice reprieve from the mugginess. It looks like a beautiful Saturday with daytime highs in the mid-70s, low humidity and tons of sunshine. Sunday very similar, maybe upper 70s. Next storm system from the west arrives on Monday with more rain chances. You see some additional chances even in the late Tuesday. 
possibly Wednesday as well for the upcoming week of those days featuring temperatures uh, a little more seasonable, if not a little cooler than average. A lot of low and mid 70s down the road. 77 again, the climate average this time of the year will be a little warmer today. 82 in Rochester. 83 in Winona and 87 in Charles City showers and thunderstorms this morning, then occasional sunshine and redeveloping storms for a few of us in the early afternoon winds turning to the west. Tonight, a uh, diminishing breeze, partly cloudy, 56 and a seven day forecast highs in the 70s. Beautiful sunshine for the weekend. At least we've saved as the best weather for that time frame, but next week a little unsettled with more of those mild 70s. I guess that's the way to do it. You save the best for Friday or Saturday and Sunday if right. you can. Thank you.